in this week. Yeah. <laughs> Questions? Josh? Sorry, I have an apple in my mouth. Um, you're uh, obviously a big week for you, Landon. What just what were y'all seeing down there? I mean, the, the whole line played really clean um, as a whole. It looked like you know. I don't. I think any of you guys probably could have been lineman of the week, honestly. Oh yeah, definitely. And you know, we came into this week with a mentality week, and uh, we knew that you know for years past since I've been here, this has always been a huge just rivalry game. And, uh, you know, I always tell people bigger than Louisville or anything, like, I look forward to Tennessee week because I'm ready to beat their butt. And, uh, you know, we went down there with mentality. We knew we had the weapons to do it. We just had to play disciplined football, and we had to put it together. Uh, you know, of course, the last couple of weeks, our offense hadn't had – our first two weeks, offense did really good, defense not so well. And then the next game, the offense, we didn't have our best game, and defense just balled out. Uh, so we had to put it together, and it really showed us what we can do. You know, there's still things to clean up, but – when you start putting that offense and defense together, have a clean game, like we're pretty much unstoppable. Larry? Yeah, Landon, just wonder when you talk about the rivalry, but to actually go there and get the win, what do you think that does for the team's confidence or is it not that big a deal confidence-wise? Oh, no, that's a huge deal confidence-wise. And you think about, you know, going down to Florida and beating them down there. And uh, what that did for our season there, it, it gives you, a, you know, especially when a team is ranked or they're highly touted or anything like that, or just a, a big uh, a string of games there that we haven't been able to win down there. It gives us confidence knowing that we've gone into a hostile environment, done something that we haven't done for 36 years, and it, it makes you look forward to every each and every week. You know, if you can play that well and you can shut a team, you know, beat a team pretty handily like that, that you can play with anybody in this league. Uh, but again, it was just a, it was a huge mentality thing to the rest of the season. You looked at the season that we beat Florida, you know, early on. And, you know, after that, I feel like we had a head steam of confidence the rest of the games. And I think that's part of the reason that we won so many after that. Landon, when you guys came out in the second half and Terry hit a couple of passes, how much does that uh, open up the running game for you guys? Oh, it opens up a whole lot. And that's something that we've, you know, kept in our minds ever since the first game. Uh, first game, you know, we came out a little slow in the second half. And that's something that we've sort of put on the uh, the board as a reminder, you know, besides our, our attitude, finishing blocks, you know, making your right reads, knowing when to pull, when to give it, you know, little things like that. One big thing that was on there was we need to come out of the second half faster. I think it has a lot to do with the leadership on the team and how that leadership is sort of picked up between, you know, it's not just one or two guys, but we have – 10, 15, 20 guys, and even some young guys that are getting out here and they're leading. And we've got to get out there and get fast because, you know, everyone knows that you get on a team real fast in the second half, especially after you're up on them on the first half, you know, it's sort of demoralizing. It's sort of, you know, you see their will just go away. Nick? Is, is it more difficult to get up for a game at, at Missouri? I know it, it – Felt like it was a, a little bit of a slow start last time out there. I, I don't think it is. I think uh, we've been able over the years to sort of uh, adjust our schedules to where we're not, you know, having a really, really long day Friday. We get down there late and have, you know, a full day of stuff to do uh, that evening when we get down to Missouri. Um, I think Coach Stoops has definitely been able to manage our schedules a little bit better so that we have that rest. We have, you know, food spaced out at different times to where we can replenish our bodies. Um, but I think I, – I don't think that's a big issue. I think it's just a mentality of getting up in the morning. You know, it's, it's are you coming to play your best ball game or are you not? And I think that that's a big issue sometimes with a lot of these, you know, better teams or even that we've had in the past. And, you know, we get up and you just don't have – we, we call it getting your piss hot. And, uh, you know, we just – we get up, and sometimes you don't have that full mentality. And that's where you have leaders on the team. That's where you have coaches that sort of in place to be able to get that attitude up and get you ready for that game and get your – you get your emotions up for that game. Will you all be stopping in Williamsburg on the way there this time? <laughs> I wish. I actually like that place. It was real pretty. I love the turf on there. I, said, I, I told them before the game, I said uh, – 
you know, I wish we could have just invited Tennessee up there and played on that field, do, do a little neutral site game. Landon, talking to Jamin Davis on his uh, return for a touchdown, and he said near the goal line, it felt like he had a big blue wall in front of him with all the guys blocking. With the defense getting so many interceptions, are you giving them tips on how to block to make sure they can get the ult ultimate return? <laughs> well, sadly, no. They actually do a pretty good job of it. Maybe they should just come play back up O-line with us. Uh, but, no, they uh, – it definitely makes uh, our job a little bit easier. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's really nice to be able to see those guys making plays like that because I know how hard they work and I know how bad they want it. And uh, for them to be able to actually go out there on the field and for it to pay off is, is just amazing to see and just the emotion that that pulls up on the team. You know, you know, offense feeds off defense and defense feeds off offense. We want to give them a cushion and they want to get a stops, get points on the board. Landon, you were talking about adjusting schedules. Uh, obviously, this has never happened before where you think you're playing Georgia this week and now you're playing Missouri. I just wonder what that's like from a player standpoint. Does it change a lot of uh, kind of mentality or, or what you're doing when they say, hey, you've got Missouri this week instead of Georgia? It doesn't change a thing. And uh, to be completely honest, because you got to take it one week at a time. You know, all I'm focused about last Friday was, you know, beating Tennessee. All I'm worried about this week is, is beating Missouri. And whether they change it or not, we got to come out of every single team like the, having the same mindset that no matter who it is, we're going to go out there and we're going to beat the guy across from us. And uh, we're going to do what we're taught. Um, but whether it's Georgia or whether it's Missouri, I have the same mindset going out of every single game. You know, I, I want to go out there and I want to dominate them. And at the end of 60 minutes, I want them to remember that I was there and know that I was there. And, uh, you know, I don't care what team it is. I don't care if it's a, if it's a Pac-12. I don't care if it's a MAC game. You know, every single game, they, they always say, you got to match their intensity. And I always say, no, they got to match ours. We got to go out there and they got to match our intensity if they want to beat us. Landon, Coach Stoops has talked some about the streaks and being tired of the streaks. And uh, I'm sure, you know, you, you know it, a lot of that stuff better than probably anybody on the team. But how is it different being the kind of the, the hunter on the side of a streak where you guys have beaten Missouri a, a few times here in a row now? Does it change at all? I mean, I, I know you prepare the same way, but how do you kind of keep from getting complacent? Uh, you know that there's always somebody else that's better than you. And, you know, especially in the SEC, it's not so much of who has a team full of D1 or uh, first round draft picks. It's who's going to go out there and execute it the cleanest. You know, who's going to make the, the first mistake? And, I, you know, you look at a lot of games that happened this last weekend and you, and you compare that to, like, everyone has good players in the SEC. But who's going to go over there and who's going to force turnovers? Who's going to go out there and make mistakes? Who's going to have penalties that kill them? Uh, you know, pre-snap penalties or kill them, put them behind the uh, chains. And so uh, each and so each and every week, it's it's sort of for us – we want to go out there and prove to everybody that we're the best. You know, we always get all the crap. We get all the, you know, UK's not good. They started off 0-2, all, you know, all this, all that. We'll keep on doubting us, and that's fine. You know, we're going to go out there, and we're going to try to disprove you every single week. We want to make the streaks of our own. We're definitely tired of them. I've lived them through my whole life. And, you know, hearing about the Florida streak and not being able to beat them there, going down to Rocky Top and never being able to beat them in their own stadium for the last 36 years. And, you know, we want to break that. And not only break it, but we want to make it our streak. Turn it around on them for the next 36 years and see how it feels. Yeah. Hey, uh, Landon. Uh, Coach Grant talked a little bit about you guys feeding off the energy that the defense is kind of giving right now. Do you Does that have an effect over there on the sideline where they're playing as lights out as they have, you know, these last two games to really kind of fire you guys up even more? Oh, 100%. And uh, even you can take it back to Tennessee, you know, as an offensive line, as an offense period, we didn't come out super, super hot in the Tennessee game. And when, of course, they got the interception, pick six, and, you know, everything like that, it sort of gets us more excited, you know, makes us want to want, makes us want to be able to go out there and take advantage of the opportunities we have. 
And also, we know that the butt uh, chewing it at the end of uh, the game, if we don't take care of the opportunities that we have, is going to be pretty bad. So, you know, every, everything that they see, we're like, man, they've scored more points than us. Well, that's, that's pretty bad. But we got to go out there and score more points to them. We don't want our defense to outscore us. So, uh, no, it, it is really exciting. And, and just the energy you feel from the defense. And like I said, every person feeds off everybody. You got everybody that may not get uh, snaps that, and contribute to the game. All them are up and all they're all getting hyped and patting everybody on the back, patting everybody on the shoulders, getting everybody's energy up. And that is so huge. When someone says that, you know, oh, you're, you're a guy that doesn't really play and you sit on the sideline, every single guy on the sideline matters every single week, whether it be a mentality, whether it be just checking people, making sure that, uh, you know, they're doing the right thing, giving them co uh, coaching reminders that they may not hear from the coach during that game. Um, but every single person on the sideline matters when it comes to energy. The screen went black. There we go. All right, Larry, we'll wrap up. Land and abuse. Yeah, yeah, Landon, just wondered what it meant to you after the game to see Coach Slarman get the game ball again. Oh, that, that was huge for me. And, you know, I owe that man a debt of gratitude that I can never repay. Um, you know, it's not just getting me ready for football, getting me ready for the next level of football and getting me ready to try to lead my team, you know, as best I can throughout this season. Uh, but he leads me to be a man. And uh, to be able to see him with everything that he goes through, you know, he, he shows us what a true definition of a man is and that, you know, there are no excuses. You know, the man's fighting for his life every single day. And uh, for to see him be able to come out to practice and I know he's tired and I know he hurt and hurts and, you know, this and that, but literally coming out there and giving us every single thing he's got, even though he's got kids at home that he – wants to have energy for at home and be able to spend time with him. But he comes out here and he gives it everything he got because he loves the sport and he loves us. We're all like kids to him as well. Um, but to do that, you know, that was just, it, it was really good to see because he deserves it. You know, he's one of the hardest working coaches I've ever been taught under. And, you know, one of the best guys that I've ever been taught under period. And I've, I've had some really good coaches in my life, but you know, John Sarman, he's a, he's a, he's a different character. I'll tell you that.